So, something happened and it reminds me of a scripture that is in Proverbs. I love the book of Proverbs. Um, Of course, in the Holy Bible. Uh, The Bible itself, let's just stop and think on that. How cool is it that we have this one book that so many people are reading and like so excited about to just jump in and go, oh, well, this part is this. Well, this part is this. Well, yeah, but I was reading this part and, and you can just jump all over this thing and learn so many different things all in one place, all in one book. But uh, in, 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 am I the only one that's just amazed by that concept? Um, but see, it's not just a book. But it is a book of wisdom. And um, wisdom. Well, doesn't that just speak volumes in itself? That we must have wisdom. Which brings me right back to this verse that I wanted to read. Um, in Proverbs 13. Um, which I've lost. I've, I've lost there it is okay um he that uh, he that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life basically can you hold your tongue do you know how hard it is to hold your tongue now i mean we've all seen ella enchanted right hold your t- ella hold your tongue immediately she <laughs> No choice. But see, God doesn't put a spell on us. We don't have to be literally, like literal, with do what what is spoken over us like Ella was. Um, But I liked the practicality of that. Ella, hold your tongue. And immediately, oh, if we could do that. But it was, a, it was a curse. It wasn't a blessing. So let's not mistake that. But doesn't the Holy Spirit guide us? Doesn't this book, this word, holy word say, I will guide you continually? Well, yes, yes, it does. And doesn't he prompt us before we're saying something like, oh, 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 don't, uh, mm, 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 zip it. And why is this a lesson that I've had to learn 75,000 times? Or wait, did I learn it at all if I'm revisiting it 7,500,000 times? Just being real. Wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. One is just holding their peace, being silent, thinking, and even when they want to say it, when they want to express their feelings, emotions, thoughts, and sometimes even when asked, they don't because they know that wisdom holds their tongue. And sometimes there are things you don't need to say. It doesn't mean it's not true. It doesn't mean you don't thoroughly feel that way. It just means you don't need to say it. You don't need to say it. Karen, you don't need to say it. Am I alone? (laughs) Sometimes you just don't need to say it. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. We need to hold our tongue many times. Seek Holy Spirit first. Get wisdom, get guidance before you do anything at all. Then you don't have to backtrack make it better all right because sometimes when you speak when you shouldn't have spoken the damage is already done and many times if we will just seek his wisdom he will guide us a different way to do what we feel like we need to do or maybe nothing needs to be done at all and certainly many times Nothing needs to be spoken at all. Guard your tongue.